Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up our website hosting. I recommend a company called TSO Host. I use them for all of my websites and for clients too. And I found them to be excellent, um, not only in just the, the kind of quality of the service in terms of um, server speed and performance and all that kind of stuff, um, but also on their support where they've always been really, really helpful, very quick to respond and um, kind of replied any time of day as well. So um, you need to head on over to tsohost.com and I'm gonna put a voucher code on the screen, um, which will give you a discount um, when you order your package. So once you get to the TSO Host website, you need to go into Hosting, and then select the Cloud Web Hosting. Now they've got a number of different packages. If you scroll down on this page, um, they're all listed. Now I recommend that you would go for something like the Professional um, Package, or, or the Standard maybe, or if you're really gonna go for it, the Ultimate Package. and Make sure that you select a um, annual contract. They're much uh, better value for money, um, in my opinion. I mean, generally once you've got a website, I think you're gonna have it for at least a year, I would have thought. Um, and so therefore, go for a year. If you can afford it, go for two years again, that's even better value all round. So um, select any package you want, but I, I say I'll go for standard or professional. Make sure you select um, one of the yearly ones, and then um, obviously you'd click buy now. It adds it to your cart, and then just go through to the cart and fill in all your details. This is where you enter the promotional code here. And the code is WP Eagle. Let's see if that works. There we go. So uh, once you've done all that, you'll get an email with um, your details and your login and everything like that. Um, and then you need to go over to control gridhost.co.uk. So I'm gonna log in with the username and password I've created just for, um, oh, that's not it, WE Shop Demo, just for this uh, demonstration. So log in with the username and password that you set up or that was sent to you um, after you signed up for your hosting. And you'll get greeted with a sign like this. You may have to change your password if it's the first time you logged in. But once you've done that, you'll see this, which is your cloud dashboard. Now the first thing we need to do is add our new website. So click Add New Website. Uh, and then enter the domain. Um, so if you register the domain with DSO Host, type that in. If you've got the domain um, registered with someone else, um, you'll need to enter that here. And then you'll need to update your name servers on the domain registrar. If you ordered it for a TSO Host, it's all done uh, and dusted. You just need to enter it in here. So I'm gonna use the domain shop demo wpeagle.com. Okay, that's done. It then asks you um, the type of packager you want. I would just stick with the Linux, Linux. Um, that's fine for WordPress, it works perfectly. And it's just gonna add that website for me now. It takes a couple of minutes. Well, hopefully not a couple of minutes, a few seconds, ideally. And that's all done. Okay, so now our website's set up. Um, if you have made a DNS change or anything like that, or you've just registered your domain, it may take a, you know 12 hours or so to, to actually get, get working. Um, but once it is all done and you, you've got to this screen, you need to scroll down to the bottom and click Install Applications. And then the first one that we see is WordPress. So then you just click Install leave the install path just as that dash and click install application. Again, it's gonna take a few seconds. It's a good time to have a coffee or something. Okay, that took a couple of minutes, um, but it's done now. And um, once it's finished, it will show you the um, username and password for um, the admin of the WordPress um, install. So you need to make a note of those. Um, and then we can go over to WordPress and log in and get started creating our website. So there's a button here that just says login. I'm gonna click that and it pops up the admin URL and you're gonna be using this all the time. It's basically whatever your website is slash WP hyphen admin. So if we head on over there, this is where we can enter that username and password. So I'm going to go back and just copy and paste it. 
And I suggest that you change this obviously when you log in, which we'll do straight away. If I can just copy and paste it, there we go. And click remember me, log in. And we're now in the back of WordPress. So, so the first thing we need to do is reset that password. So go down to here, which is users, and then all users. And here's that username that was created for me. Uh, then if you just scroll down to the bottom, you can enter a new password. So I'm gonna enter one here. And then we're just, that's all done. Okay, so WordPress installed, we're all done. You're now ready to set up the rest of your website.